Everybody and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby, and this Sunday is the Sunday of Pentecost, 50 days after the resurrection and 10 days after the ascension of our Lord. Instead of reading St. John and continuing our study there, I've decided we're going to go to the book of Acts for today and read about the ascension and about the descent of the Holy Spirit. But before we do, let's say our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, we ask that you enlighten our hearts and our minds, that we may learn and understand your teachings, and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Okay. Now, we must not forget that it's Luke who has written the book of Acts, and that's where we're going to study today. And he says in his first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach, until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles, whom he had chosen. He, pre he presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. So now we go on to the ascension. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? They still didn't really understand what was going on. But they would very shortly. And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons, that the Father is fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by, by them in white robes. And he said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. And that was, of course, the ascension of our Lord. Now, let's skip over to chapter 2. 2, starting at verse 1, and this is the coming of the Holy Spirit. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. Now the Pentecost they're speaking about here is not Pentecost as we recognize it today. The Pentecost that Luke is speaking about was the Pentecost of the Jews, which occurred 50 days after Passover. So let's read that again. When the day of Pentecost has arrived, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? 
But others, mocking, said, they are filled with new wine. They're saying they were drunk. Well, Peter's, Peter sets the record straight. He tells them it's too early in the day for them to be drunk. Then Peter starts his own sermon. And he starts off with a, a, a reading from the prophet Joel. And let's read that. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Then sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. The Word of God. Well, no commentary today. So, tomorrow we pick up again with St. John, chapter 12, and the disbelief of the Jewish nation. So until then, have a good day, and may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh,